welcome back to CTR. I messed up and I opened the door by accident. But yeah, so last episode we finished off Glacier Park, got all the trophies, all the get the one key. Now we're gonna go to Citadel City, which is right here, which I accidentally opened early. And yeah, we're gonna go to the first track, Engine Labs. I'm probably gonna mess up on the USF stuff, because you can actually get USF on this track pretty easily. And it is it's a type of boost that you get from I think it's specifically launch pads, like ramp pads. The ones that are supposed to take you from like one spot to another in like a vertical direction. Not these kinds, but they're usually some that have like more power to them. And you can actually keep that boost for longer. This, this is one of them. Yeah, you, just by frogging you can actually keep the speed. And it's pretty quick. It's pretty, it's pretty damn fast. This place here is good for building up reserves. But yeah. There's... don't... God damn it! Not gonna chance it. Yeah, so I probably messed up already. Because uh, there is a second pad like that um, up ahead. Or it's not really a second pad, but it's, it's, it's the first one. Let me see if I can actually get it. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's the USF pad. And you can do this really fast. And it ran out. But yeah, so pretty much... If, if I build up reserves, I can actually keep that boost for a much longer time. And it is nuts. You go so fast with that. And so don't jump because that actually, any other kind of boost or hitting a wall cancels it. That's why you want to use only your reserves after your mini turbos. Every single mini turbo you finish builds up your reserve. And you want to make sure you build up just so you can actually use USF to its fullest potential. Because, you know, now, now that's ruined. Lost all my reserves. But yeah, because if you actually jump into a drift, uh, you lose it. Probably gonna mess this up. Okay, no, I actually got that. Nice. Yeah, so it won't last anywhere near as long. Yeah, it's already over. But yeah, jumping and, from jumping and landing with a boost cancels it. Doing a mini turbo cancels it. Getting into one of like, uh, like a boost pad like this cancels it, and the obvious one, which is hitting a wall, cancels it. So that's why you want to solely base it off of reserves only. Anything else will just ruin it. And this is probably the easiest track to practice it on, because there's I mean, it's just USF everywhere, pretty much. Hopefully I don't mess this up because I actually got some pretty decent reserves here. Nice. No! Oh, yeah, look at that, look at that. I'm so far ahead. Thanks to USF, I'm so far ahead. Which I think USF is the... I don't know if it's Ultimate or Ultra Sacred Fire. But yeah, because it's pretty much the same thing as Sacred Fire from boost pads, but it's much, much stronger. That's trophy number one from Citadel City. Yeah, next I think is uh, Cortex Castle. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Or not? Wait, no. What? No. Yes, I know. Aku. But why is it? Is it under? To access this yes, track, I get it. you must. I might be under. I think that's why it's being all. Because the map, oops, the map says that it's right there, but since when I can actually get it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, Cortex Castle, and then after that is uh, the the other ones. I forgot the name already, <laughs> but the pinstripe track. I believe this track also has USF, 
It's like one pad. It's very rectangular though. Whoops, did not get the boost there. This is a uh, USF boost pad. Yeah, but it already ran out. That's one of the harder ones. Cause that I think yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a USF boost pad. But since you have so much hang time, all your reserves kind of get used up in there. So you want to make sure you have an extensive amount of reserves, just so you can actually land and then use it. that as well. That was mine. Nope, too low. I had no height there. Maybe I can get reserves here. I don't know if it'll be enough though. It kind of lasted a bit. Yeah, you can tell you got USF when your meter is completely maxed out, like way past what you'd normally expect. Nah. Did I hit him? Did I hit him? No, if he did, I hit someone else. Should I just use USF? I got the backfire there, that sucks. Okay. Yeah. The speedometer is maxed out. Oh, come on. Oh well, I'm already here at the finish line. Oh, it's alright, I guess. 57 seconds, 1 minute, and 59 seconds. Probably could have been better if I actually used USF properly. That's trophy two done. Then we go to uh, the sky something sky airway. I forgot the name. I know that track has some crazy skips. Congratulations, you win a trophy. That was actually pretty quick to get over there. Yep, it's right here. Hot air skyway. That's what it was. track but it can be difficult. I believe this is USF as well. I fucked up. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, should I go I'm not gonna go for it. Probably should have gone for it, damn it. Um yeah I believe that's a USF pad as well. So you can actually use it to have like, oh no. To have a good speed boost. But I messed up. Ooh, clock. I'm just gonna get him first. I'm just gonna try to get him first and smuggle it up. Yeah, I'm gonna try to smuggle it to first and see you just use it there. Oh, 
Fuck! I know you can jump over that. I know you, there's actually a way to jump over the invisible wall. I'm just gonna use it now. But yeah, I, I know you can actually jump over that wall. I just don't know how. You gotta get an insane amount of air for that. I actually hit Polar with that. Oops, got the backfire there. No, oh, I hit the wall. I probably should have gotten the one buff first. Or not, you just kinda saved me there. I should try to use USF for the slap. It might be a mistake that I'm trying it, but. Yeah, I wanna see if I can actually do it. Just to make sure I actually get all these reserves first. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's so fast. Yes. Alright, now we're back to normal speed. Yeah, that, that, that thing, that's super fast. Of course, if I had more reserves, I'd be able to go for much longer distances. Fuck. Oh, I messed up the turbo start. Or would that be like a recovery start? Yeah. So we're near at the end now. It's definitely one of the longer tracks, but it's not super hard or anything. I think that's the last track? No, there's one more. Uh, Oxide Station. Which I think might be the longest track in the game. I'm not sure though. That's just Oxide Station, which I think it's down here. Yep. This is the final boss stage. <laughs> that sucks. Part of it has to do with it being a long track. It's also a very narrow track. Yeah, you can see right there, it's pretty big. Nah, missed some turbo start again. God, I'm just bouncing all over the place. I do know there is a massive skip in this track. It involves a lot of uh, out of bounds stuff. It's actually really, it's really cool. Yeah, that could work as long as it's not on me. It's 
for the thing right here. No, hit nice to hit the nitro crate, I think. No, I should have put it there in the middle. I'm missing the boost pads. There we go. No, I missed that turbo there. No one actually used the nitro grate. Right? I guess there's something else then. Ah, that's nice. Lost on reserves there. Should have just dropped there to get the boost, but whatever. Too much hang time. Too much hang time. No. Can't get any time. Yeah, I forget that there's a lot of low gravity sections here. I didn't get to see how far ahead I was. That was, that was actually decent. That was a pretty decent run. Racing? Forget about it. If you's gonna face our side, you's gonna have to get past me first. I'm the speed champion here, and I'm gonna save oil. And <laughs> for a sizable fee, of course. <laughs> I'm pretty sure laughing like that does not require the whole mouth fuel. But I'm in limited graphics. That's what you get. And it, hopefully this isn't too bad. I fucked up the turbo start. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Does he hit those bombs? I remember that. He hit those bombs. Come on, hit him. Yes. Oh my god, I almost killed myself there. How about no? that you assess? The triple rockets is the best. It's like literally the best because you can just shoot him and then if he gets in front of you, you shoot him again. Fuck. Like now. <laughs> you shoot him. Ah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, 
forgetting I don't want to jump too high either because, like I said uh, before, jump boosts actually cancel USF. So that really is not what I want. Stay ahead. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too hard because I kind of already am doing that. Whoops, messed up the boost there. There we go. That's uh, pinstripe done. Next up is going to be Oxide, I think. I don't know if I want to do the completion of stuff before Oxide or after. So, yeah. Because I know that um, uh, you do have to fight him twice, which is kind of annoying, but meh. I guess it's jammed the gun from the first game. <laughs> You's beat me fair and square. I doubt you'll be as lucky with Oxide. Here's a key for your troubles. Oh, brother. Well, the little Terra Vermin has finally collected all the trophies to become world champion. What took you so long? Now we prove who the fastest driver really is. Okay, yep. <laughs> they threw me right in front of Oxide. Yeah, so I, I guess next time we're going to do Oxide then. We're going to do Oxide and then I'm going to have to start doing the completion of stuff. So, see you next time. This is like a more than 20 minute video. So, later.